something strange happened to my camera then, so I don't know whether you got that. So I was asking myself, why on my day off when I'm going to do one of my hobbies, would I want to go and wear a dog collar today? For a few reasons. Just let me put this in the car. There we go. Together with my bag. Got my watch on and everything. Just checking that I've got everything I need. Uh, obviously firearm license and head protection you got that there you go so my shotgun bag and air protection which is quite good making sure that I've got everything I need before I leave the house because if I left with it all it'll be a bit, bit, it'll be a bit strange right so what was I saying why on my day off would I want to wear my dog collar I'm trying to close my ear. So just give me a second. Ugh. I hate when the cars park badly and things aren't working the way they should be. Okay, I'm coming back. back. Right. Why on my day off would I want to wear my dog collar? Okay. So my bishop um, said some very interesting things when he was giving his bishop's charge. One of the things that really resonated with my identity as a deacon, um, which is also my... I don't want you to think that... Isaac has this personality where he's one thing on one day and on his day off he's a completely different thing. I think that's not being honest about who we are. I think, if anything, faith is a part of our lives, of the whole person. Um, some would actually argue that faith takes over the whole person and I would hold that view. So I should be a person of faith in everything I do, in everything I do, in all my hobbies, uh, my marriage, my family life, and when I'm in church and when I'm in a dog collar. So. Just because I take off the dog collar one day and a different day, it doesn't mean I become a different person. But we live in a society where today the world is very much fragmented about what you believe and what is about, you know, what you want and how you identify yourself as and what I identify myself as. But also, more and more, faith is becoming a private thing. It's not a talked about thing. It's not an open thing. And there's reason for that. And I understand that some people will say, well, yes, there's a reason for that. And I get that. But I think... In England and within the Church of England as well one of the things I hope I do when I wear my dog collar out in my parish or whenever I'm doing stuff like this is just a reminder to people about what the church represents I guess that we are diverse we are out there hmm I'm trying to think about this how to phrase this probably hold that thought why I wear my dog collar is because it represents who I am, first and foremost, as that whole rounded person that you don't have a different Isaac every here and here and there. Secondly, faith is in the public atmosphere now, becoming more and more private. And I guess I feel as a Christian and a member of the Church of England that it's also part of my role to remind people that actually faith can be a public thing in a non-intrusive way. So I can wear my dark color, I can have conversations with people, I can be myself wherever I am and hopefully people will look at me and go, oh, he's wearing his dark color while he's doing that. And maybe it'll spark off a conversation, maybe it won't. People might be offended by it, they may not like it, but at least it gets people thinking. It gets people thinking about, okay, so why is Isaac in a dark color while he's walking around, uh, you know, a clay, a clay pigeon shooting site with a shotgun? And hopefully it kind of debunks some of those stereotypes of, you know, Church of England vicars who are stiff up upper lip, all grey-haired. And actually maybe they'll go, hey, the Church of England is diverse. Look, it's got a face of di It's got people of different cultures and backgrounds. And they do stuff. We have lives outside of just wearing a dog collar. And actually I think more and more it would be nice to see people and priests wearing their dog collars out and about. Doing the normal things that they enjoy doing. And I think people would value that because we're trying to be authentic. We're trying to be realistic about who we are as people. We don't have two personalities or two different roles. I understand that that's not for everyone. I totally get that. I know that for most deacons and priests, it's not. It's not. And people are very um, particular about making sure that there's boundaries between work and play. For me, I get that. But I think when I wear my dog collars, certainly when I'm out and about playing, as it were... I'm saying I'm trying to make a statement. Yes, I am. 
I'm trying to remind people that faith is relevant. Yes, I am. But also, I'm accessible. I am disturbable. I'm interruptible, sorry. I'm interruptible. So if I am doing something and somebody feels like, oh, there's a priest or there's a, a vicar, can I go and talk to them? Can I ask them this question? Yes, I don't mind having that chat with you. And in some of the environments I find myself in, that might be something that's needed because I've never seen anyone else do it. So I'm trying something different. I might learn that actually it's too much of a distraction or it puts people off and I might not do it, but I'm learning, but I'm willing to experiment. This is why I'm wearing my dog collar on my day off while I'm gonna do one of my hobbies. It's gonna be interesting for me. I'm certainly gonna get strange looks because I already get strange looks just being me um, at some of the things I do. Now, I wish I had my GoPro, which I'm planning to buy, because then I could have my little GoPro on my hat or on my chest while I go and do my hobby, and I could see people's reactions and stuff like that. But sadly, I don't have my GoPro yet, so, and I can't be walking around with my camera and a gun and a bag full of ammunition. It's just not the sort of thing, and I think that would actually cause more alarm than, <laughs> than anything else. So, you'll just have to see how I find it and what my, uh, my thoughts are at the end of it. So, I'm going to go now. And we'll talk when I get there or when I'm leaving and see how it's been. But I'm expecting it to be fine. People are usually friendly and accepting. I think it's just nice for people to go, hey, there's a priest who also enjoys the hobby that we do. Um, and maybe it starts conversations, maybe it doesn't. That's a long answer. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, I'll see you later. Hey guys, so just shot about 50 clays, uh, just chilling now, having a drink of Luxade and putting my toy away and stuff like that. So here's what I kind of gleaned if you want. People are very very friendly, people are friendly and yeah I got some looks but nothing too crazy. Um, yeah it was good and people were still friendly and said hi. I got a few strange looks but no one really cared. So I'm gonna go home, enjoy the rest of the video.